October of 2020 was one of the best months for me as far as sales, especially on eBay. And there was one brand that helped me increase my sales on eBay. And I can't wait to share with you what that brand was. Hi, welcome to Bargains with Love. My name is Lana and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay primarily. I've been doing this for about three years and I love every minute of it. This business helps me make extra income and it also serves as my hobby. On this channel, I like to do a lot of unboxing videos of wholesale liquidation, thrift hauls, or what's sold videos. So if you like this type of reselling content, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up and I would really appreciate your support. I love sharing my journey and everything I learn with as many people as possible. So today I'm doing what sold video and I'm going to share with you what sold on eBay and Poshmark in October. Actually, the period that I'm covering is October 3rd, 2020 through November 2nd, 2020. So I'm going to start with Poshmark first and I will be putting screenshots right here for you to see what's sold and i'm also looking at my uh, laptop here in front of me so let's get started i'm going to start with poshmark first i didn't actually have a lot of sales on poshmark in october and that is mostly due to the fact that i did not list a lot of new inventory on poshmark so if you're new to poshmark if you're just thinking about selling on poshmark or starting out um, this is one thing that I want to stress that it's very important to consistently list new items on Poshmark if you want to have consistent sales. So um, in October, I was focusing a little bit more on eBay, so I was not listing as many items on Poshmark, so that resulted in less sales. However, I did have a couple of sales that brought really good profits, so I want to share that with you. And um, I also had a lot of sales in October on Poshmark that were at a very low price point. And I want to let you know that on Poshmark, if um, your sold price is $15 or lower, Poshmark will, will charge you a flat $2.95 fee. For anything that's over $15, they charge 20% commission and you keep 80%. So there were some items that I sold at a really low price point, like $6. So minus the 295 Poshmark fee, it was not a very profitable sale at that price point. However, I was still happy to, um, to sell those items so I can get them out of my closet and send them to their new owner. So let's go ahead and see what's sold on Poshmark. So I'm going to start with two Ipsy bags. I wanted to show you the Ipsy bags that sold on Poshmark. Uh, I'm subscribed to Ipsy, so I get their um, little glam bag every month with samples of different cosmetics and skincare products, and I don't need a new makeup bag every month. So if they're cute, then I like to put them on Poshmark and um, sell them. So the first one I sold uh, was a September Ipsy glam bag, and it sold for $6. Of course, $2.95 was a Poshmark fee, so my earnings were $3.05. But I was okay with that because that's just the bag that comes with my order. And I also sold another Ipsy bag and it was the October Ipsy bag. That one was really cute. It was black with gold detail and this one sold immediately um, the same day. So I was really happy with that. Also sold for $6. Next is also another low, low price sale. This was a pair of American Eagle flare jeans this is an older style so this is not something that's really popular right now but some people are still looking for something like that so um this sold for ten dollars um and went to a new owner next item was this really cute pottery barn pillow with um new york big apple i love this pillow it was really good quality i bought it at goodwill for maybe two dollars so it sold for $10. I was hoping to get more for that, but that's okay. Sold for $10, $2.95 Poshmark fee. So my earnings was $7.05. Um, 
Next item was this Origins, Origins Once Upon a Shine Sheer Lip Gloss. It sold for $8. I have several of these um, lip gloss items and they came in the Wholesale Ninjas liquidation box that I bought, um, I think it was back in May of this year. I got this Wholesale um, Ninjas box that had a lot of uh, makeup, cosmetics, and um, healthcare items. So I've been selling slowly out of that box. So I'm glad to see this one go. Uh, this nail right here, this is something that's my own item that I sell in my Poshmark boutique and on eBay. These are houndstooth poly mailer bags. This one is size 10 by 13. They're very durable. They're really good bags. And I use them myself for shipping all of my Poshmark orders and some of the eBay orders. Um, I ordered directly from a manufacturer in China. I got a, a really big supply of them and they've been selling really well. This size 10 by 13 is not the most popular, um, but it does sell. So this was 50 bags that I sold for $9. The next item are these Cole Han Cassidy ankle boots. So these I had in my closet, Poshmark closet for a few months, um, but it makes sense that now that we're in the fall and winter, boots are selling really well. So this was size nine, they sold for $30 and um, Poshmark fee was $6 and they gave them a $2.12 shipping discount. So my earnings were $21.88. Next item is the Stars Above Cozy Nightgown. This one also came in the Wholesale Ninjas Liquidation Palette. I have a video of unboxing that palette and I'll link it above so you can watch that video. So that was a um, palette of case packed merchandise. It was mostly merchandise from Target and these are all brand new. So I put them in my boutique because I bought it wholesale and I have it listed for $14 and it sold uh, for $14 minus Poshmark fee of $2.95 and my earnings were $11.05. So these are selling really well right now because it's winter time and this is a cozy nightgown. These are a pair of Merrill um, shoes. So these I got at a thrift store for just a couple of bucks and they sold for $18 minus Poshmark fee of $3.60. So my earnings were $14.40 on these. I was actually also thinking that I was hoping that they would sell for more. I'm not really familiar with Merrill styles. I know that uh, that brand sells, but not all styles sell. So one um, advice I can give you is before you buy something at the thrift store, even, that's a, even if it's a good brand, just do your um, homework, research it before you buy it. Make sure that particular style and that color sells. These took a while to sell and they only sold for $18. So probably not gonna be picking up a similar style again at the thrift store. Next is this pair of Calvin Klein Chino shorts. So this sold in October, even though um, these are summer shorts. Um, these shorts came in um, wholesale liquidation case I got from Bulk. And Bulk so far has been my favorite wholesale liquidation source because um, those are the most profitable lots for me. Whenever I get a case from bulk, I usually make profit on them and I do my homework before I buy anything from bulk. I research, I make sure I can sell those items and usually, usually I get a good result. So this was, however, <laughs> so shorts came in the bulk liquidation case that I got that was all men's clothing and that one actually was the worst one. I don't think I'm going to make profit on that one. That one was a bad, bad buy. It was supposed to be new clothing, men's designer merchandise, but mo most of it was not new. A lot of it was damaged. It had holes of cuts um, and some of it was used. So that was not a good one, but I was glad to see this short sold for $18. Uh, Poshmark fee was $3.60, so my earnings were $14.40. Let's go to the next item. Um, next item is a pair of Earl skinny ankle jeans. They had like this pearl detail on the side. They were brand new with tags, but I got them at the thrift store. 
and um, this was size 10. They sold for $16. I was also hoping that they would sell for more, but they only sold for $16, a uh, Poshmark fee of $3.20, and my earnings were $12.80. Next item is this uh, pair of really cute pillows that I also picked up at Goodwill. They had this really cute ribbon and embroidery detail. They were linen. They were just really good quality. So I sold two of them for $25 and the Poshmark fee was $5. And then I also gave them a shipping discount of $2.12. So my earnings were $17.88. Next is this pretty dress. It was Gianni Vinny lace dress. Um, it was really pretty in my opinion. I really liked it myself. It was size eight. I was hoping to sell it for more, but Gianni Vinny, this brand doesn't sell for me very well. It doesn't sell for a lot of money. Um, so this sold for $18 with a Poshmark fee of $3.60 and my earnings were $14.40. I bought it at the thrift store. I believe I paid maybe $4 for this dress. So it was still pretty nice profit considering how much I paid for it, but I'll probably not pick up that brand again in the future. Next item were these Teva original ombre thong platform sandals. Um, I also bought this at the thrift store for probably four or $5. This was size nine, they sold for $27. So sandals sell in the fall and winter as well. Um, Poshmark fee was $5.40. So my earnings were $21.60. So that was not bad. Next is this um, Zara dress. It was a really cute floral mini dress. Um, I thought it was really cute. It was size extra small. It sold for $20 with a Poshmark fee of $40. It left me with earnings of $16. And the next two items and the last two items I'm going to share with you of what sold in my Poshmark class in October were the two most expensive ones that actually brought me really good profit. So I wanted to show you what it was. Uh, so this was a designer, I don't know if I pronounce it right, but Hervé Leger. Um, this was a Denica mini dress. It sold for $120. This dress was brand new with tags, size extra small. And I bought this dress on Real Real. So I did some retail arbitrage. I bought two dresses on Real Real. And both of them sold on Poshmark in the month of October. So this dress um, I paid, I believe, $89 for on the Real Real, and it sold for $120. Uh, Poshmark fee was $24 and my earnings were $96 on this one. However, the next dress that I also bought on Real Real was this Alexander McQueen beautiful, beautiful dress. It was a rose tapestry, tapestry mini dress and it was size small. It was brand new with tags. Um, I bought it for two, well, I bought it for $99 and it sold for $247. Uh, Poshmark fee on this was $49.40 and my earnings were $197.60. So both of those dresses brought me good profit. I definitely um, recommend doing some retail arbitrage like that um, on real, real, especially when they have um, really good sale going on because you can make good money doing that on Poshmark. That's the platform um, that I like to um, to sell more expensive items like that that are designer brands. So this is all that sold for me on Poshmark in the month of October. Let's see what sold on eBay in October. So eBay was doing really well for me in October. I think this has been one of the best months I've had on eBay as far as sales. So I wanted to share with you on the screen um, my eBay sales analytics for that period from September. Well, um, this is for the period from October 2nd through November 3rd, and it's compared to September 2nd through October 2nd period. Um, so my sales, total sales, went up by 123.4%.
So my total sales were about $2,500 on eBay. And um, net sales went up by 168.9%, so basically 169% increase in my uh, net sales. Um, selling costs were also pretty good. You can see here they were 26.4% of my total sales. So I think that's a good percentage for selling costs. Um, so selling costs includes the costs of shipping. If I'm offering free shipping, which I don't always offer free shipping, but if I do, so that would be included in the selling costs and also includes, of course, the eBay fees and my subscription cost to have an eBay um, store because I pay a subscription for that. So if you can see here on the graph, my sales in the, in the beginning of the month were kind of low and then all of a sudden towards the end of the month, they started going up. And um, I will tell you which brand contributed. There was a specific brand, specific item that um, I started selling. And as soon as I started, I listed those items. I have multiples of the same item. They are very popular. They sell really well right now. And so it's um, reflecting in my eBay sales. So I will go ahead and tell you what that item was. So um, if you've seen my previous video, I did a video prior to this one uh, that was the unboxing of wholesale liquidation box from Bulk and that box, I bought that box specifically because it was full of extra uh, smart wallets. Well, I don't know if they're, they're only smart if you put the tracker card inside. So that box was full of extra wallets and extra tracker cards. Um, so basically that was the, the most of the content of the bulk box. It also had some Overlord tactical rifle scopes, things like that. Also had some babes cosmetics, just a little bit, a few items, but it was mostly extra. And so I will put the screenshots um, for you here. And if you haven't seen that video of me unboxing, um, you can go ahead and watch that. So the extra wallets, they're very slim. So I think they're really popular with men right now because they're good quality. They're made of really nice leather. They're very slim and they have a quick access to your cards. Um, so there's a mechanism that you can push the button and your cards come out is easily accessible. And you can also buy a tracker card that you can put inside your wallet and that helps you um, never lose your wallet. So you can ring your wallet and you can um, ring your phone. For example, if you have your wallet, but you don't know where your phone is, then you can use that card to ring your, your um, wallet and also that tracker card can be used for taking selfies on your phone so it's pretty pretty awesome so but the wallets have been selling really well there are different types of wallets the one that's the most popular one is called extra parliament and the black color was the most popular one napa black we sold 18 of those wallets in october um, some of them we sold um, listed in used condition and some of them we sold in um, brand new condition. That's just depending on that bulk box. The bulk box um, was uninspected returns. So, um, but some of those wallets that we got were in brand new condition. Um, then also classic brown is also popular. The second popular color was sold five of those. Um, we also sold three of the extra parliament steel blue wallets. Those are actually really nice blue colors. So we have a few more of those. Um, sold three of those. We also sold two of the extra parliament Roma cognac color. It's like the slight tan color. Sold two of those. Um, then we also sold two of the extra parliament Merlot red wallets and those wallets I sold together with the tracker card. So we sold two of those. I only had two. Um, then we sold one extra Senate black wallet. That's a different type of wallet. This one is a little bit uh, less expensive. It's a little bit smaller and skinnier. Sold one of those. Sold another extra Senate Roma cognac. Um, wallet and we sold four of the extra 
tracker cards. Those are the cards that you can insert into your wallet to make sure you never lose your wallet. So we sold four of those. Altogether, I had 43 of those cards in the bulk box, so um, they're selling, but not as fast as the wallets. The wallets are more popular than the cards. Then in that um, box, I also had four of the Overlord Tactical Rifle Scope items. And in the month of October, we also sold three of the Overlord Tactical Red Dot um, Rifle Scopes. So these items came out of that bulk, my very most recent bulk box. And so I'm very happy with that purchase. That's probably the best um, wholesale liquidation case um, I got so far and it came from bulk. So I highly recommend that um, you search through bulk cases. They update them daily, but you do have to do your homework research because they give you the, um, all the information. They, they give you a manifest and it's pretty accurate uh, for the most part. It's not 100% accurate, but for the most part is accurate. So just go ahead, look at the SKU number, the UPC numbers, um, look it up and see if it's selling. Look and see at the listings on eBay and the solds on eBay, and then make your decision on whether or not you want to buy um, a case from bulk. So in the month of October, actually most of the items that we sold um, on eBay were items that came in boxes from bulk. So in different bulk cases that I bought, um, most of the items that sold were from bulk. Uh, and I will show you on the screen some of the screenshots of the sold. But we also did some cleaning around the house and our garage. So we listed a whole bunch of different items that were just sitting around the house and sold them for a really low price because we just wanted to get rid of them, cleaning the house, cleaning the garage. So that um, contributed to the increase in sales on eBay because we were just listing a lot of different items. So that helps because eBay's eBay algorithm likes the activity of um, sellers listing new items. So that definitely helped. And even though we didn't um, sell them those items for a lot of money, but it helped us generate more sales because it brought traffic to, to our eBay store. So let me share with you some of the items that sold that were uh, bulk liquidation items. Uh, so first I want to show you this set of bamboo sheets. These were um, sheets that are queen size, white, 300 count, sold them for $15 not um, a huge sale but you know it came in the bulk box it probably cost me about uh, four dollars so that was good profit then um next item i want to share with you is this um, set of three colgate optic white toothpaste this one actually was a really good item to sell they were selling really fast and i was selling them in um lots of three and several of those were purchased um, by international buyers so that was really interesting so i shipped them i use ebay global shipping program so several of those went overseas then um, the next item sold was this epson ultra premium photo paper i had this one for a while i bought it at a thrift store probably a year ago and it that there well I had several of those so I think I had four of those and this was the last one that sold and it sold for $20 um, then we had this puzzle so this puzzle was a really cool puzzle it's made in Japan it's 2,000 pieces 10 year Disney stained glass type of um, puzzle and that came in the mystery box and the mystery case that we ordered from the company is called smallerlots.com and I have an unboxing video that I did with my husband I'll link it above so that mystery box was not very good for us we did not actually this is the only item that sold so far out of that box this puzzle sold for $28 um, I probably could have sold it for more money but um, I wasn't sure if all the pieces were there and so I listed it with a disclaimer saying that we did not put this puzzle together and we don't know if all the pieces are there. 
So, and it sold for $28 and the buyer paid um, actually a big chunk of money for shipping. And so they actually paid about $50 altogether, including shipping. Uh, but what I want to say about mystery boxes, those are not our favorite. Usually when we get a mystery case, we don't make, um, we don't make money on those mystery cases or mystery boxes. But um, I went ahead and bought two more very small mystery boxes. They should be coming in soon from a new company that we never tried before. So an unboxing video is coming up. I think those are going to be better than the other mystery boxes that we bought in the past. So please come back and watch that video when we um, publish it. It will hopefully be uh, very soon. So this next item is a set of uh, curtains. This is Coastal Life Denim Stripe Rod Pocket um, Light Filtering Curtains. Those came in the bulk case, in the bulk. One of those boxes that I bought from bulk, I sold them for $20. So it was not a great sale, but it wasn't bad. Um, then next, also an item that came in one of my bulk boxes, and these are um, infant Dual Probiotics by Enfamil. Enfamil Infant Dual Probiotics with vitamin D. These are for babies. I'm selling them in uh, packs of two. So they sold for $30. Um, next item. This one, this one was in the mystery box from Quick Lots. And I've had this since April. Um, that mystery box um maybe i made my money back already i'm not sure but i doubt it um things were selling slowly out of that box and not for a lot of money this item sold for 15 dollars. this is hydrolink professional eight in one usb c hub so um finally sold for 15 dollars. next item here also came from a bulk case this is an ugg shower curtain uh, it was really nice. It was uh, brand new, so it sold for $13. Um, next item right here is a Chico's Traveler's Tunic. This one did not come from bulk. This one came from a thrift store. Um, you know, I hear from other YouTubers or resellers that Chico's Traveler's um, type items sell pretty well on eBay. So I picked up this item at a thrift store. But it took a while for it to sell, maybe a couple of months, maybe three or four months. And it only sold for $16, but it was probably just the style wasn't the best. Um, the next item is this Enfamil um, Iron Multivitamin Drops for infants. So this is also from Bulk, sold for $12. Then another item I want to share with you here, this shirt. This is the men's original penguin button down shirt. This one I picked up at the thrift store and it sold for $22. Next item is Vitafusion Melatonin Extra Strength. So this also came from bulk. I had a whole bunch of these and um, now I am sold out of them. In the beginning, they were actually selling better and for more money. So it always depends with those types of items. If you buy wholesale liquidation, um, and check, check Amazon, even though you're selling on eBay, but your sales are going to be impacted by Amazon. So if there is a seller or a couple of sellers on Amazon that are selling the same item um, and the prices on Amazon tend to go up and down. They don't stay the same. And so if somebody starts selling it for a lot less on Amazon, then it's going to impact your sales on eBay. When I first listed this item, I think they were all sold out on Amazon. So they were not available on Amazon. And then um, they got restocked. And um, so I was not able to sell it for as much, but I did sell out of all of them. And... The next item here is J Queen shower curtain. This one also came in the bulk box. It sold for $13. Um, this next item here is a wall chrome pro complete hair cutting kit. This one also came in the bulk box. And um, also I was hoping to sell it a lot faster, but it took several months to sell and it sold for $29.90, but it was new. It was a new item. 
Um, this item right here is a Cambridge floral print insulated stainless steel straw tumbler. This one also came from a bulk wholesale liquidation case. It was a new one, new item, sold for $11.50. This is, so these are the sales. I'm not going to share every single item that sold in October because it's going to be a really long video, but this is just the, the highlight, the most of it, of the sales. Most of it was those extra wallets and extra um, tracker cards. They continue to sell. I still have, uh, I have not sold all of them yet and I'm glad. <laughs> I will be very sad when they're all gone. And, because they've been selling really well for me. Um, so that was all, you guys. Uh, the sales for October were pretty good. We're hoping to have another good month of sales in November and December, but I'm always on the lookout for new inventory. I'm always searching for wholesale liquidation items. Um, I need to go to the thrift store and do some more sourcing. So uh, if you like this type of video, please hit uh, thumbs up on it please share comment on it i really like to see your comments to see what you think if you have any questions please let me know in the comments i really appreciate your support thank you for watching